Here's a day in the life in the foster care team. Sonia is our intake manager and she will likely be on the phone when you see her making new placements. And when she's not on the phone, she's getting things together for our new placements. Once she makes a new placement, she goes out to the home to welcome the new kids. And she'll likely be on the phone making more placements when she's on the way there. Then she'll hand off all the paperwork to the case managers. Once the paperwork has been received, the case manager has 30 days to make sure services are in place and the child is adjusting well. If there are any behavioral issues, Don will hear about it. Oh, scratch that. He's complaining about his caseload getting larger. Anyways, on top of the new placements, we still have to manage our current caseload. Our days are usually filled with phone calls, home visits, and paperwork. When you're a case manager, you have to stay on top of all the different deadlines. Once the initial 30-day paperwork is done, we put it in Jamie's mailbox. Speaking of Jamie's mailbox, it is usually being flooded with lots of different paperwork. Jamie is our supervisor who keeps track of our paperwork while also managing her own caseload. I don't know how she keeps track of it all. And John is the one doing this in the North Olmstead office. Other things case managers keep track of include clothing checklists, client rights, physical, optical, and dental records. And of course, those ROIs. HIPAA's important, folks. Dawn's office is always occupied. It's basically a revolving door of all of us loading our problems onto her. But she manages all of us like a champ. She really is the best supervisor ever. Although the plan is always reunification, sometimes our foster kids end up getting adopted. Kate from the North Olmstead office helps facilitate those adoptions. John and Randy would not feature in this video, but they play a part in this awesome team too. And that's a day in our lives. Oh,